thought this this is probably be the last time that I do it as a solo. But Brian and I intend to continue with Queen as long as we can do it properly. Roger Taylor is an English musician, singer, and songwriter. Although he's best known for being the drummer for the band Queen, Roger has also achieved considerable success as a songwriter. His songwriting career flourished with Queen as he wrote at least one song for each of their albums and sometimes sang vocals for these competitions. Roger's also an established producer, having produced albums for such artists as Jimmy Nail and Magnum. He was voted the eighth greatest drummer in classic rock music history in a listener poll conducted by Planet Rock in 2005. Over the course of his career, Taylor's collaborated with notable artists such as Eric Clapton, Roger Waters, Robert Plant, Phil Collins, Elton John, Foo Fighters, Bon Jovi, and many others. But it's, yeah, it's, it's nice to have him there. And of course, we think about him every day. I mean, every day. He's just part of our... If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Meadows Taylor, but is also known as Rainbow. He was born July 26, 1949 in Kings Lynn, England, making him 72 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.72 meters or 5 feet 7 inches tall. His favorite color is red. His favorite books include On the Road by Jack Kerouac and Dune by Frank Herbert. Roger's favorite actor is Tony Curtis, while his favorite movies are 2001, Clockwork Orange, King Kong, and The Great Race. In 2018, Ben Hardy portrayed Roger in the biographical movie titled Bohemian Rhapsody. He shares a birthday with fellow Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member, Rolling Stones singer Mick Jagger. He was awarded the OBE, Officer of the Order of the British Empire, in the 2020 Queen's New Year's Honours List for his services to music in Greater London, W1U, England. In 2013, a newly discovered species of the genus Heterigrion from Brazil was named Heterigrion Roger Taylory after Taylor, in honor of his powerful sound, wonderful lyrics, and raspy voice. One of four Heterigrion flat-winged damselflies named after the bandmates, paying tribute to the 40th anniversary of Queen's founding. In 1999, Taylor became the second living person, other than members of the British royal family and Sir Francis Chichester in 1967, to appear on a royal mail stamp, being seen behind Freddie Mercury as part of a Great Britain's issue. Taylor was great friends with Freddie Mercury. Unfortunately, Mercury died of complications that were caused due to AIDS. After the death of his friend, Roger started working towards spreading awareness about AIDS, Roger Meadows Taylor married Dominique Behrend in 1988 and had two children with her. The marriage ended in divorce. Roger then married Serena Taylor in 2010 and the couple has been together since. South African model and graphic designer Genevieve Potgieter is his sister-in-law, younger half-sister of his wife, Serena Taylor. Older age and do it gracefully. In uh, you've got to stay vaguely dignified. I mean, you can't be, you can't be a young tearaway. He was born in a brand new maternity ward and his pregnant mother actually had the chance to meet Princess Elizabeth, the future queen, when the royal was touring this facility. Roger was raised in King's Lynn before moving to Cornwall along with his younger sister. At the age of seven, Taylor formed his first band with a few friends. Roger played the ukulele. By the age of 15, he joined a semi-professional rock band. Taylor originally focused on being a guitarist, but he later switched to drumming when he realized he was better suited to the instrument. He taught himself how to tune his drums at an early age and was inspired by drummers such as Keith Moon and Mitch Mitchell. Although he would later become a highly successful musician, Taylor actually studied dentistry at the London Hospital Medical College, but he quickly became disillusioned with the field and studied biology instead. He then graduated from East London Polytechnic with a Bachelor of Science in Biology. Roger Taylor began his music career with a band called Smile in 1968, which also contained future Queen lead guitarist Brian May. This group stayed together for about two years after releasing a total of nine songs. 
1969, Taylor met Freddie Mercury for the first time when they were working together at Kensington Market. Freddie was a big fan of Smile at the time, and he managed to convince May and Taylor to come together and create a new band called Queen. Queen released their first album in 1973, which received positive reviews. They followed up with Queen 2 later that year, which provided them with their first hits. Over the next few years, they released hits like Killer Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, Somebody to Love, We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions, Fat Bottomed Girls, Another One Bites the Dust, Radio Gaga, and many others. Roger began his solo career as early as 1977 when he released his first single, I Want to Testify. He followed up with his first solo album in 1981 entitled Fun in Space. He then followed up with a number of additional albums over the years and founded a side project called The Cross, which ultimately broke up in 1993. Taylor also performed during Queen's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. To this day, he continues to perform live. In October 2021, Taylor embarked on a 14-date solo tour, Outsider Tour, in the UK from October 2nd to October 22nd. You're not quite sure what's happening next and um, a great period of uncertainty. And I, I thought I would just make the best use I could of the time. His source of wealth is music. Rogers earned millions of dollars during his career. Back in 1973, he earned $620,000 from the album Queen. During the next year, this drummer made more than $1.5 million from the sales of two albums, Sheer Heart Attack and Queen 2. The album titled A Night at the Opera was released in 1975, which helped Roger earn $4.255 million. He's also made money from his concerts and brand endorsement deals. He has a net worth of $200 million. In 2020, it was reported that a 70-acre countryside estate in which Taylor once lived had been listed for $6.1 million. Known as Millhanger House, this is the same residence where Roger wrote hits such as Under Pressure. The residence features a recording studio that was constructed out of a 450-year-old water mill. The home itself was originally built in 1907 and lies in the Surrey village of Thursley, not far from London. Additional highlights include a tennis court, stables, a six-car garage, a heated swimming pool, and a hot tub. Taylor originally purchased the home in 1979 and lived there until 2003. Since then, the property has changed hands a few times, and at one point it was listed for as much as $9.85 million. The lowered price in 2020 reflects the residents' dire need for upgrades. The home spans 17,755 square feet of living space and seven bedrooms. There's also an Asian-inspired Bob Geldof suite. Another notable feature is the large glass conservatory. The recording studio, which is described as the main attraction of the entire residence, overlooks a sizable pond. Roger Taylor owns the following cars, a 1960s Morris Mini, a 1975 Alfa Romeo Spider, a Porsche 356 Speedster, A 1977 Ferrari 308 GTB. A 1979 Aston Martin V8 Volante Series 1. A 1978 Mercedes-Benz 450 SL Roadster. a 1980s Chevrolet LUV, a 1981 Range Rover, a 1981 an Aston Martin DB7 Vantage Volante,
1999 Mazda MX-5, a 2007 BMW Hydrogen 7, a 2012 Porsche Panamera Turbo.